Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to finally be doing another sit down YouTube video. I know I've been traveling a lot and I've been posting the vlogs, but I think you guys actually prefer my sit down videos versus my vlogs because it's just a little bit more fun. I have so many interesting stories to tell you. So today I want to talk about my experience on the Wendy Williams show, which was really, really interesting. How you doing? I actually showed up super hungover and tired, so I was delirious the whole time, and I was actually chosen to be a part of the Ask Wendy segment. Give you guys a little bit of a story on how everything goes, like a little bit of a run through to being a part of the Wendy Williams show. Also, I want to tell you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes and also about my segment on Ask Wendy, and there's also a few interesting comments that I would like to respond to. So without further ado, let's get into it. So my best friend Alexi lives in New York, so every chance I get, I always love to fly into New York and visit her and just spend some time with her because I live in Toronto and the flight is only an hour and it's only like two, 300 bucks round trip, so the money is so well worth it because I get to see my best friend. So I was planning this trip um, to go to New York actually for Halloween, and I've never been, I actually hate Halloween, let me just tell you guys, I actually hate Halloween in Toronto. It's just so boring. The plans never work out and it's so like, ugh, like I'm just over it. So I wanted to go somewhere new for Halloween. My friend was celebrating Halloween, planned to get the tickets in advance. So I went on the website, signed up and I got approved. Gave me an excuse to do something different and to visit my best friend Alexi who lives in New York. So on the 30th, I flew in. Halloween was on the 31st, obviously of October. And then I flew back home on November 1st. The 30th, I was flying in to New York at around, like I got in around like 1 p.m. So that was too late to do the Wendy Williams show on that day. Uh, on the 31st, the tickets were sold out, so I had no option but to do it the day after Halloween, which I knew I was going to be partying hard the night before, so I was a little bit worried because you do have to wake up quite early to be a part of the Wendy Williams show, so I think you have to wake up at like 7 a.m. and we partied until 4 a.m. Toughen up. And yeah, so that was three hours of sleep. And yeah, we'll get into it. So we arrived to the studio. I think it was like around like, you have to get there before 8 a.m. I think it's either before 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. So super, super, super early. So I think we got to the studio maybe at like 7.30 and we were waiting in line. It was a little bit chilly, but not too bad. We're standing in line. A really cool thing that I didn't know would happen is when we were standing in line, we actually saw Wendy Williams pull up in her SUV and walk in. So everyone was like, yes, Wendy, hey girl, like, how are you? And then like, it was just kind of like a great start to our experience on the Wendy Williams show. Well, to everyone's experience for everyone who was doing it for the first time, because who would have thought you would see Wendy before you got into the studio? So we were just standing in line for about maybe like, I would say like maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then they slowly started letting people in by groups. So after you get let in, you kind of go down this like sl um, this slanted, like, I don't know what it is, like kind of like, you kind of like go into the studio, it's a little bit slanted, you go like downstairs and you go through security, you make sure like they check everything and they tell you the rules. So after we went through security, they brought us down into this like really cool waiting area. There was like vending machines, there was washrooms if you need to use the washroom before the show. And during that time, production informed us while we were sitting there, they told us all the rules about being in the studio. Like you can't have your cell phone to respect, like to obviously participate. And if the camera gets turned on you, not to like wave to yourself and be like, hey, I'm on TV. Like they just gave you like basic guidelines. Also during that time, production informed us that they were doing an Ask Wendy segment that day. So so they handed out papers to all the audience. Everybody had to submit a question, even if you just wrote on the paper or whatever, like you did still have to submit something. So I had a really interesting story. As you guys probably know, after watching it, a friend of mine kind of sent me some nasty texts after I took her out for her birthday. And she kind of like accused me for doing, she did so much more for my birthday, but in reality, she kind of did the same thing. And I kind of just did the same thing. So we were equal. And then she demanded I buy her like an Hermes blanket. <laughs> So the story was pretty interesting. So of course, production did pull me aside along with like 10 other people and just ask you some questions to get a little bit more detail about your story. So after that, I went back to sit down with my friend and it was time to go up into the studio, which was actually really interesting because you get into this like elevator 
in like lines. So it's really, really, okay, you guys know like those industrial elevators for like when people do constructions in like apartment buildings, service elevators. It was kind of like a huge service elevator and they kind of like line you up one by one in like rows and go up and you're like all standing like, like sardines, like one right behind each other. So yeah, that was kind of like interesting. And then when you get upstairs, let me tell you, it was so much fun. Like considering it was 8 a.m., you walk in and you felt like you were in a nightclub. Like the music is bumping. You're like, hey, what's his name? DJ Booth. Like, yeah. It's DJ Booth. He like literally killed it. Like you walk in and it was like instantly drinking like three cups of coffee. Like you're just hyped. You're like, hey, Wendy. Yeah. Woo. Keeping in mind, I was so hungover and tired. Like this really helped uplift me because we were partying. It was Halloween the night before. So we were partying until like 3, 4 a.m. So... Yeah, we definitely needed the hype. Like, we obviously had coffee, but I don't think it, like, kicked in. So I was, like, so delirious and didn't really know what was going on. But when I walked in, I was like, hey, the tunes. So you got your seat. And one of the things I was kind of curious about is where you put your, like, jacket and purse, if you have a purse or bag or laptop bag, whatever, when you get into the studio, you actually do put it under the seat. So if you guys realize on Wendy Williams, the seats are actually all like covered with fabric. So that's why you don't see any purses or jackets as a viewer because everything's all hidden, but it's not like you're checking everything in, which was really interesting because I was always curious how that works. Obviously, I got chosen to be a part of the Ask Wendy segment. So they did pull me backstage and obviously, which is really, really smart, wanted to make sure that everybody was comfortable for some doing the Ask Wendy segment because a lot of people who do Ask Wendy or actually I would say like 99% of them haven't been on TV or don't necessarily feel comfortable speaking in public and you're speaking to over 2 million people. So obviously they just wanna make sure that you feel comfortable. So they're just giving you some key points of the story to make sure you address so Wendy knows exactly how to give you the best advice. So the show started and obviously the first segment is Hot Topic and it was just so much fun to actually be live in Hot Topics and see Wendy like do her thing because usually like okay this is gonna sound really bad I love you Wendy don't be disrespectful but when you're like watching Hot Topics I usually watch it at home like in bed right before I go to sleep and usually if something is not interesting or you don't really know the celebrity or the person she's talking about you could kind of skip a little I'm sorry Wendy I love you um, be live and like to be in front of somebody who you watch every day but not have that control was really, really trippy because it's like, wait, like, oh, it's like, yeah, this is a hot topic. Like, I can't rewind. So yeah, you kind of do have to be focused and like be participating in the show, like 100%. Another thing I was actually really surprised about is I always thought during the commercial break, um, Wendy Williams would like walk around, talk to her co-hosts and her uh, live audience. Something that you don't realize is Wendy's actually really, really busy during commercial break because she's preparing for her next segment. She's running around, she's being pulled in every which direction. So that was something I was kind of a little bit shocked about. Like I was surprised and obviously she did talk to certain people, but she is hosting a live show in front of millions of people. So that's something to kind of keep in mind when you go to Wendy Williams. Like she's not gonna be hugging and talking to every single person. Like she's still producing a show at the end of the day. Towards the end of the show, you do have the opportunity to kind of take pictures with her and kind of talk to her very briefly. But for the most part, it is kind of an in and out thing. It was finally time for Ask Wendy and I was the second person up for the Ask Wendy segment. So I was so nervous. I was literally like, and I've done TV before. Like you guys know I was on Housewives. Like I've done some stuff in front of the camera. Like I'm very comfortable in public, but I was sitting there literally so hungover. I was like, oh my God, why did I drink so much last night? I am so hungover. Tough enough. And also like I was kind of delirious. So like when I was like going over like to the key points that I had to like mention to, for the Ask Wendy segment to make sense, I was honestly like forgetting things. Like I was just, think about it. I had three hours of sleep. I was hung over. I was also like, oh God, like it was a mess. Like I couldn't even deal. So anyway, so first up was this like really, really cute girl with her mom. And she was like asking her mom, um, asking Wendy if she should block her mom on social media. Should I block her? She likes to twerk. Hey, she likes to get down. She follows me. I know you, girl. You are so much fun. You are so sweet. And I, like, honestly love you. And you and your mom were actually so cute. Um, I did see a little bit of twerking on your page, though, when I followed you. So uh, maybe it's a good thing you should block your mama. <laughs> anyway, so um, after Wendy kind of helped them and answered their questions, she turned to me and I was like, oh, my God. I am so, like, I, could, I didn't even, I wasn't even able to focus. Like, I was like... Oh my god, like I saw the sparkly mic and I'm like, don't grab the mic, she's gonna squat my hand. Fine, thank oh, excuse me. <laughs> and I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, oh my god, because I was so hungover and delirious. So I look, 
I totally, first of all, I totally forgot to mention my name, what I do, and where I'm from. And I just got right into the story. And I was like, hey, Wendy, how you doing, girl? And she's like, I'm better now. Thanks for asking. Oh. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I'm better now. Come on over. <laughs> okay, what's your question? And I was like, oh, God. So I started going into it. And then I did read a lot of comments um, on the Ask Wendy segment that I'm a part of. People were confused. They're like, oh, like, why didn't he mention certain elements of the story? And I was like... Because I was hung over. <laughs> I was delirious. I should have not, I learned my lesson. I am not going on live TV, reality TV, any kind of TV gigs I have next time without a full night's sleep and I am not drinking like a week before. So I was there, whatever. Thankfully, Wendy asked me some questions and I was able to kind of redeem myself and she kind of started to understand the story a little bit more. I don't understand. She was a little bit confused after the first points because obviously I missed like three important points that were essential to the story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thankfully, Wendy was really, really nice. And by the end of it, I kind of like got my groove back and I was like, yes, like asking her questions, like being sassy, like going back and forth with her, which was really, really cool. And I was really grateful that I didn't embarrass myself further than I did. <laughs> That's all from my experience on the Wendy Williams show. I had an amazing time. It was so much fun. I highly recommend anybody, if you're in New York or planning on going to New York, to go get tickets. First of all, they're free. And second of all, if you do it like, in advance, you could get tickets. Like, it's not hard. Like, I've gotten tickets like three times. Two out of the three times I wasn't able to make it. I obviously canceled those tickets. But yeah, it's honestly really easy to get tickets for this show. So I honestly think if you are in the New York area go on the website and try to get tickets if you like this video make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below make sure to push the bell notifications i'll leave all my social media links down below also if you guys want to check that out i am very active on instagram so if you guys have a question please dm me and i'm more than happy to answer it for you if you guys enjoyed this video i will be posting a lot more often hopefully i'm sorry guys it's really hard for me to find time to make sit down videos but i do really enjoy them so yeah if you guys like this one please make sure to show me some love and I will see you guys next time take care guys bye bye Felicia <laughs>